Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. And again, my condolences if you happen to be a White Sox fan. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am here with another White Sox update. And I am going to give my prediction for where I think the Chicago White Sox will finish with their with the final record, the final record that they will have. But uh, first, let's go through some interesting statistics for the White Sox. They are currently 31 and 108. And that is a 223 winning percentage. Now, that percentage puts them on a pace to finish with 36 wins. But I'll get to that in a minute. They are also more games out of fourth place in their division fourth place, not first, they are more games out of fourth place, 39, than they have wins. They're 39 games behind the Detroit Tigers, and they only have 31 wins. That's, uh, that's crazy. Um, so let's go over the, uh, the two teams from recent history that were really terrible You've got the 1962 Mets, who only won 40 games. They were 40 and 120. They never played 122 games. And the 2003 Tigers, who did play 162 games, finished at 43 and 119. So, um, you've got, uh, you know, you have to ask yourself. Now, there's 23 games left in the season. So, you have to ask yourself... Can the White Sox win 40 and catch and really they would, yeah, well, no, I mean, I think they'd have to win 41 to have a better winning percentage than the Mets. But can they even win 40? And I think if you're honest, you have to say no. Can they win 43? Certainly not. If they can't win 40, they can't win 43 and catch the Tigers. And um, I looked at their schedule. And the worst team that they have left to play is the LA Angels. And the LA Angels are 57 and 80. Now, 57 and 80 is a bad record. It, uh, I mean, the Angels are not a good team. But, you know, the, now they play the Angels six times. So, can they win two of those games? Maybe. Maybe the White Sox can win two of those six. I, I wouldn't put them at splitting, I don't think they'll split with the Angels. And the next worst team that they play is the Oakland A's, and they're 60 and 78. Other than the A's and the Angels, every other team they play the rest of the season has at least a 500 record, if even only by one game. Like the Tigers, I think, as you can see here, the Tigers are uh, the Tigers are 70 and 69, so they're just barely over 500, but they are. Uh, we also, it's notable that we have the Guardians left on the schedule, and they are the division leaders right now in our division, and we also have the Red Sox left, and they again are a 500 team, if just barely. So we play all 500 teams, or better, except Oakland and the A's. So that bodes uh, poorly for us. Now, we'll go over their team leaders, but the team leaders is kind of deceptive because we have guys who've left who would be probably better in some of these categories. For instance, our um, home run leader right now, they say that there's two guys tied with 15 home runs. And I'm not really sure off the top of my head who, that, who those two are, but if Paul DeYoung was still on the team, he would have 20-something, 20 22 home runs. So... Um, and we did have him, but we traded him. So anyway, uh, currently the um, the batting average leader is Gavin Sheets, and he's hitting 244. The RBI leader is Vaughn, Andrew Vaughn, and he's only got 59 RBIs. Uh, Robert leads in stolen bases with 21, which is not too bad. I mean, for a stolen base leader, that's not bad, but he probably far and away leads everyone. Like, there's no one close to 21 after him. Uh, let's see. On base percentage, Sheets leads currently with a 314. Um, slugging percentage, uh, Vaughn leads with a 387. 387 slugging percentage. 
And the OPS leader is Sheets at 682. And Sheets probably is one of the guys with the 15 home runs, too. So let's look at the pitching, the pitching leaders. And again, um, well, no, the pitching leaders, they left intact. Even guys that left. Like wins, they say Fetty. So Fetty, Fetty left the team, and he still, his win total of seven still leads the team. Um, and strikeouts, Crochet. Crochet leads the team in strikeouts, but we traded him. So his uh, he has 188 strikeouts for the White Sox. That leads the team. Nobody was able to catch him, even though he left, and his total of 188 stopped at that point. Um, Flexen uh, leads in uh, innings pitched with 137 and two-thirds innings. And listen, you don't want Chris Flexen leading your staff in innings pitched. So, uh, you know, and then um, games, Brebia has appeared in 54 games. Brebia has been with us since the, uh, since the uh, dawn of the season and uh, in the bullpen. And he does, get, he does come in quite a bit. But he's not good, and that's the problem. So anyway, you get the pitcher, terrible team, terrible statistics, not going to hit, not going to get to 40 wins. And so that leaves us with what do I, what win total do I think they will finish with? And remember, they have 31 right now. So, you know, like here they are. They're at 31. <clears throat> they're 18 and 54 at home. They're 13 and 54 on the road. And they've lost 11 straight. This is also the third time in the season, I think, that they've had a 10 plus game losing streak. So, anyway, where do I think they're going to finish? They have 31 right now. <clears throat> my prediction is that they're going to finish at 36. Now, that's the pace that they're on with their winning percentage, but it also happens to be what I think they can probably pull out, and that's five more wins. I think they can get two against um, the Angels. I think they can probably get one or two against Oakland. And even though they play 500 teams, like, the Detroit Tigers and the Boston Red Sox, and um, they also have the San Diego Padres left, and the Guardians. I think you can probably, they could probably get three to four wins between all of those teams. Um, you know, the Red Sox are not by any means uh, a, a, an unbeatable team. Neither is Detroit, so there's Detroit. So, <clears throat> I think six wins. I think you have to say they'll probably, uh, or 36 wins, five more. I think five more you could probably sign them up. So that is my prediction. But what do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Always helps the channel when I get a lot of um, uh, interaction with my videos. But for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I am signing off.